I just want to show you how this arch has dropped. You can see the joints have opened up. We've got the dynamic duo here. Oh no, there's only one now. Boston. So, Aiden Electric, our trusted Sparks. Putting the new. Right, so we've got that wall done now. We've got that up there done. Come round here, we've got that up there done. Had little bits set in here when the actual goes on in there. Uh, this wall isn't getting done yet because all this is going to come down. So we can see this wall here. But it looks like we're going to have to put a fan light across there because um, it's dropped a bit and the arch isn't doing what it's done. Tom's just cleaning off the old dowel. So uh, the homeowner wants to keep the dowels, instead of them sharp corners, he wants roundy beveled corners. So he's just cleaning that up with all the old crap what's on it. Then when we put the new board on, we'll have nice round corners. So yeah, that's where we are today. On the filmers boarding, I'm just gonna show you the progress at each point now. So yeah, we've got um, water authority coming out today to have a look at the stop tap in the back. There might be a bit of an issue, whether it's their responsibility or ours, what do you think? It's on, it's on private land, but it's an old lead pipe which feeds the entire row of houses around the back. So, I don't know. We're going to see what they say anyway when they come. Um, yeah, so we'll catch you in a bit. Alright, so I thought we'd throw a coat on there. I've got first coat, second coat on, it's just drying. Give it a flat off. And I'll give it a final polish. All good. Look in the biz. Look in the biz. Be glad when that's gone. Then we can start sorting that wall out. All good. We've had water authority here today, so they're going to be sorting out the lead pipe and changing it. Oh yeah, jobs are good. Jobs are good. Then. I just want to show you how this hat just dropped. You can see the joints have opened up. Now what you can do in the arches here, you could drive a wedge into there of slate. And what that will do is it will compress the arch up and give it its strength back. It's a quick fix, but we're not going to do that. You can see this has dropped right up to here. It's two courses. So what we're going to do is put a lintel in from that end to over here. Uh, just a span light. Eventually there's going to be a fire surround going in here. Uh, yeah, so my mate's just going to go and pick one up and I'm just going to do a bit of plasterboarding. See you in a bit. There they are, the arch is out now, so it's just dropped down there. You can see these have dropped. So what we're going to do is just leave them there for now. We've cut back 150mm. We've cut the span light. So that's going to go in there. Once that span light's in there, we'll build back up and we'll take these loose ones out. So I think Tom's going to do with that because I'm putting boards on. But, um, yeah, that's basically it really. There's not a lot to it, but you couldn't leave it like that. The guy wants to have an open fireplace as well, so we may as well just make it make it stronger. All right, back soon. Right boys and girls, so what we've done is we've pulled this bead out and we've just sat the board there just to see if it fits and then what we're going to see where the pencil lines are there what we've done, you can see there, we've just chased the plasterboard back a bit because of these wooden pegs here so we don't want to be pulling these out We've already chopped them back as well Yeah, so what we'll do, once this is set here and we've got the definite thickness for the plasterboard this way what we'll do is we'll backfill this a this uh, this bead quadrant whatever you want to call it uh, with some adhesive to hold it in place timber dowel that's the guy yeah i don't know wood um yeah so we're going to fix that piece in on that side cheek we've got one on the other side to do so you'll notice as well we've got um this wall all boarded so got the sockets cut out so there's no um nasties for the sparkies no Gobbo in there right like that. Got the light switch back on here. You see what I did? I, I actually marched the this board here in line with the galvanized back box and then I transferred the level across onto this wall. So we could put the board on full and then we just cut out 
the square afterwards instead of putting it up banging it on the wall hoping it makes an impression and so on so on so, on, so. but um yeah so that's that done um you've seen the plaster in there oh yeah that lintel's in place there now so that span lights in and just with it, just use a few uh, commons there it don't have to help fantastic because it's getting covered uh, um yeah at least that's gonna stop the fireplace from falling now right let's crack on right that's the first coat on so tom has started on this because uh, he's been going through plans with the homeowner who's changed his mind again so the extension might be getting delayed a few weeks i think i need to have another talk now because they was discussing it while i was plastering this so yeah anyway that's the first coat on so it's tea break time 20 minutes Go back, flat it off, and then we'll um, get set and cut on. So that's the first flat done. All I'm doing is taking the eye points out with the flat. The second coat will fill in any um, divots, if you like. But yeah, so that's the first coat flatted off. And what I'll do then is crack on, get the second coat on. Tom's turned up. Hello, hello, viewers. Good evening, I, have to, I have to watch him because he um, has an habit of it in the walls what I've just skimmed. So there you go, he's cutting the boards and I have to stick on there. Yeah. Yeah. And then skim up to these angle beads. Yeah, it'll be nice. I think I want a bit of a sand to be honest because there's loads of crud on it. been a while since I've plastered up to a wooden bead and I've got the first coat on and I've just cleaned off the timber because I don't want the plaster going off on here this is the first coat but I've got it as near the thickness as I want it so the top coat will only have to be really thin but the truth to getting a good finish today is to let it go off longer you know so that's well put scrim cloth here which goes partly onto there and will fuss the plaster into there when it comes to putting the plaster on and that'll just Give it a little bit extra strength. All right. And Tom's just doing that side. Um, yeah. You see you on the other side. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. Don't tell it got off a bit longer than you normal. But you can see here now, look, I've put the second coat. And that allows me just to get a nice, perfect finish along there without having anything built up on here. So, and I've not flatted that yet, but um, that's going to go nice. I'm pleased with that because you can put it on too thick, too thin, and you'll end up with oh, you'll be trying to troll it forever. But I'd rather it be over dry on this edge than when you flat it with your trowel, you know, you can mix them everywhere and get it nice and smooth. Uh, bits of paper still stuck on here, but it's no biggie. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. That'll look good. Tom's just doing this side over there. I won't go around there because it's it's not a laughing matter. He's not wrong with this, you bastard. I've got it back. No thanks to you opening the window. Isn't if you it? open the window viewers, it goes up quicker. Yeah, that was the idea. Well, unless you're doing the wall right at the back of the room, which might <laughs> go off a little bit quicker than this one. Yours wasn't going off, and that's then, why I opened the window. Tell me. Don't tell me. Well, I've got it back because I am a hero. I am a hero. Uh. <laughs> okay, now <hell. laughs> I give up. All hail the Brillo pad. So this is what I use just to clean the edge off. Literally, not going onto the plaster. So if you look here, <sighs> just get any. Some saves using the brush. See, look here where all this excess is. I have to film this one, yeah. I got a feeling. Oh, God, I could do that after. What? That, that, um, thing, just to clean this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm packing out where the aperture's going. 
So I don't have to look pretty. So as the act have what it just won't push back, but I want to clean the act uh, I want to clean the door frame off before. So You can borrow this for a pound to go. Pound to go. Well what, what do you want to do with it? A pound to go. Well you want to use it don't you? I mean, you're still using it and cleaning off your bead. I don't, you know, I don't want to, I ain't even got back to that yet. I'm getting rid of this before it goes off. Yeah. And I'm getting the plaster off your bead before it goes off. Oh, yeah. Fucking bonus. Bonus, my ass. There you go. Where are we? Plaster off there. You don't want it sticky to the timber. Now when it comes to flat that, it looks like it's a bit. When it comes to flat that, it'll just clean off nicely. Right on. It's Spiky Trish and Thursdays. So that's all being disconnected now, labelled up and whatever. And then we've got the dynamic duo here. Oh no, there's only one now. Boston. So Aiden Electric. Our trusted sparks putting the new RCB oh, board, is it? Or whatever they call it. It is in the inside. Yeah. Look at them pretty neutrals up there. You know all the technical terms, don't you? Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. There's even tie wrapping on. That's the in thing. Oh, I can't know that. Grouping factors. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you one, will you? It's Friday nights. <laughs> They're the tails off the RCB Yeah. Yeah, cool, right? I'm going to let him get on with that. Might be, might be better for us to get a, a bit of skimming on that wall. And then we thought it used to be. Wow, it's not, is it? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, first coat on there. Yeah. Here we go then, so Eden has just about finished up. Yeah. They're um, doing some testing and stuff and talking about where kitchen sockets are going. But I just wanted to show his work. It's quite tidy, that. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Eden Electric. There's his number. Um, he's got a dual second fix for um, when we put the electric uh, the kitchen in. So he's not done his test date yet and whatever to issue the certificate, but he will be. So anyway, that's just tapped in there. These sexy things, can't remember what they're called. Uh, yeah, so got these in for the appliances. So that's going here for that's going to be a socket in the cupboard. For fridge, I'll have a socket, I'll have a socket. Um using zone here, so they're all strapped back. Uh another one over there. And then this one here, this is for the I think that's microwave or something up there. Can't remember what it is. Um and there's a feet going around there for what will be the extractor fan. Uh there's a I believe this is six mil cable. That'll be for the up double oven, which is gonna run along here. And powered up in here this door will be getting blocked up uh, we have got some drawings somewhere um, I don't know where it's don't know where it's gone um, what's this no that's it that's Tom's sketches um, let me see if I can find the drawing right there we go then so that here is this wall here so double oven which could be Potentially oven and um, microwave, hob, extraction, uh, cupboard there to cover that boiler over, and then the other drawing, not that one. Oops, sorry, excuse me. And then this one here. So that's looking this direction. This direction here we go so the boiler cover to the left uh, let's put it back down boiler cover to the left another cover to the right um, Belfast if he goes with a Belfast sink then he needs to get solid worktops then this is going to be one of these big fridge things ladder fridge on this side if you can make it out but yeah so that's that um, the extensions on say it's a pump pause for a while he wants to get this place sorted first before he gets the extension but we've said well, what about all the dirt and crap and everything else what's going to go on um i don't know so anyway yeah so what we're doing 
next week so john's going to be away we're going to be getting on a we're going to be getting rid of all this starting this out because he just needs doing we need to tidy it up and then once this is in we can start on these walls because this room now is complete as far as what we're doing in here so he could actually oh, i believe he wants some new window boards on there but as far as destructive work that's done in here that plasterboard here that's hollow because <coughs> that'll be getting cut out when it comes to installing his uh, coal fireplace and his surround and everything it's going for a specific style if you look at this old gramophone here you can sort of guess what sort of style we're going for uh yeah but this is drying out nicely obviously these bits are where the scrim are but yeah it's nice and flat what we're going to do is if you like the videos give it a like subscribe all right and hit that notification bell so you'll see what we're doing See what we're going to be doing on with this job. See if there's any more curve balls to run at us.